tonight on Sports Extra. I thought that I would print up a couple of them, hand them out to my friends, and someday I could say, oh, yeah, I, I published a comic book. I had no idea that it was going to explode on me the way that it did. Also, just about all baseball fans collected baseball cards when we were kids. If only we knew then what we know now. Cards and collectibles are very big business. And if a Denver man has his way, we'll soon be adding sports comic books to the list of valuable keepsakes. Dick Nixon started collecting comic books when he was a kid, but he never dreamed he'd make his living publishing comics about sports. The seed was planted nearly four years ago as he watched the Broncos battle for their lives in the AFC Championship game against the Browns. I was in a room full of people that weren't necessarily sports-type individuals. Nobody was paying any particular attention to the game until the end of the game. And then, of course, everybody was glued to the TV. Nobody could believe that they actually that they actually went down and, and won the game like that. And um, that's where I first got the idea of maybe it would be great to, to capture that moment somehow. And that's when I got the idea to, to do a comic book, to put it into comic book form. Amazing Sports Publications has gone to press with several comic books over the past few years, including one on UNLV, the New Orleans Saints, and the one special for most Bronco fans. This one takes us back to The Drive in Cleveland, January 11, 1987. And that'll be up to John Elway with 543 left. I thought that I'd print up a couple of them, hand them out to my friends, and someday I could say, oh, I, I published a comic book. I had no idea that it was going to explode on me the way that it did. Touchdown, Mark Jackson! But Nick soon found out that 20,000 copies wasn't nearly enough. Sold them in a matter of weeks. Um, got responses from all over the world, essentially. Got letters, orders in. Um, then we went back to press and printed another 50,000. I hire a writer having no talent myself, essentially. I hire a writer, and uh, he does all the research for it, um, writes it up, and then we have artists who put it down into art form. Amazing Sports Publications is now working on a comic about Colorado's championship season. It should be out around July 12th. First of all, you have to negotiate, contract with the university, um, go through sell advertising for it. Um, that takes a lot of time, plus putting the story together. We, we try and make it as factual a representation as possible. So there's a lot of research involved, and then, of course, the artwork itself takes a lot of time. The comic will recap CU's last two seasons. And yes, it will have a picture or two on Rahib Ishmael's punt return that nearly ruined the Buffaloes. Of, of an accident, wasn't it? Can I say that? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, that's going to be in there. It's got to be in there. Um, everybody's heart sank there for a second or two, but uh, luckily we slid through that when it came through with the national title. Nixon knows he may never again strike the chord he hit with the Bronco comic, but he's convinced he's hit upon a unique way of letting fans relive and remember their team's special years. Any city is going to react favorably uh, from, from what I've seen. Every city loves their team. And uh, every city, no matter how small it is, for instance, the Saints, I mean, they've never won a national championship or anything, yet every car that drives by has got a Saints bumper sticker, and you know what I'm saying? The, the base of support is, seems to be always there, whether it be a pro team or a college team or even like a national baseball franchise, the support seems to be there. All right, Nick hopes to have that uh, comic book on Colorado out later this summer.